This Sunday, November 27th at 2 p.m. at St. Andrews River Heights Church, the Women's Musical Club of Winnipeg will be featuring the wonderful up-and-coming pianist David Potvin. One of Canada's most exciting performers of contemporary repertoire and the 2022 winner of the Eckhart Gramatte National Music Competition, Montreal-based pianist David Potvin is in the midst of a cross-country tour. His program will consist of all Canadian composers and is sure to be nothing short of breathtaking. Joining me here over Zoom to talk about his upcoming concert this Sunday, I am joined by David Potvin. Hi, David. Nice to meet you here over Zoom. Hi, nice to meet you too. Mm. Uh, I first want to ask how it feels to be the latest winner of the Eager competition. And also, can you talk about what the competition is? It's highly competitive, but it has a very specific mandate, right? Yeah, the Eckhart Gramate competition uh, was actually, um, it's it's supported by a uh, foundation set up uh, by the late Sophie Eckhart Gramate, who was, was one of Canada's great composers. And so the mandate is to promote um, Canadian contemporary music. Um, so all the pieces have to be written after 1950. And there is a big focus on Canadian music. At least half of the program must be by Canadian composers. But I chose to go with um, all Canadian composers just to showcase the wide variety and, and richness um, uh, of the type of music that's on offer for piano by um, Canadians. Mm -hmm. uh, so as I was saying earlier, this is part of your uh, cross country tour. How many dates have you performed at and how's the tour been going so far? Oh, it's been great. Um, so tonight I'm doing my uh, ninth concert of the tour in Sudbury, and there will be 13 altogether. It's been uh, wonderful to see all of the different types of, of towns and all the. I, I've been gone. I started in Halifax and I, I've been to Vancouver, so I've been from coast to coast. And uh, it's just amazing to see. Um, the uh, how welcoming uh, so many all the audiences are across the country. And Winnipeg will be what number concert for you? Winnipeg will be number 12. <laughs> uh, the program is super diverse. You've got music of uh, Gene Coulthard, Chris Dirksen, Harry Summers, Jacques Etou, etc. Can you tell me about how you found this music and how you put the program together? Yeah, I spent, I don't know, two, three full days where I just spent all day listening to music uh, by Canadian composers. I used the Canadian Music Centre, which was a great resource. Um, it's an institution with branches across the country and they have an amazing website. Um, so I just trawled the repertoire for pieces um, that I thought were uh, were had a big variety but also worked really well together so there's uh there's there's a piece with electronics there's a piece with some extended technique like strumming the strings on the piano there's romantic sounding pieces there's some impressionism there's uh, the commissioned piece by chris dirksen is it's very pop music oriented with a beautiful serene middle section there's some crazy atonality uh, there's a little bit of everything um, for for everyone's tastes so what is it about playing new music that you find uh, so fascinating? I think one of the most interesting things about playing new music is that for a lot of pieces, there are not uh, recordings as a reference. Um, because, of course, in the canon repertoire, we have, you know, if you're going to play Chopin Ballade, you have you know, a few hundred recordings to choose from, uh, just to listen to for inspiration. So it's just you and the score. And so you really have to trust your own interpretation. And, and it really feels like a, an immediate, there, there's, a, there's a sense of immediacy of bringing the thing to life. Um, and also what's been fun is I've gotten to play a couple pieces for the composers who've written them, who are alive. Um, and so to uh, to work with them a little bit on talking about what their interpretation is, what they how how they envision the piece should go, um, and making those relationships uh, is really special. Mm -hmm. uh, the program on Sunday looks super interesting. One of the composers that jumped out at me when I was looking at it was that you're playing music of Jacques A. Two, and I know that you've even worked in collaboration with the CMC celebrating his music. What do you find so fascinating about Jacques Etou's music? Jacques Etou is a romantic, and that really speaks to my heart. His music is so passionate and romantic and so full of emotion. 
But what's compelling about it is that he writes in an entirely uh, 20th century, with 20th century techniques. So the music is at once atonal, but at the same time, to me, it's singable. And in fact, in the recital, I like to talk to the audience. And so I show this melody that he uses, which is quite beautiful. So it's a prime their ear for this beautiful lyrical line. And then they get to hear the really interesting and novel ways that he harmonizes it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's a, he's a absolutely fabulous composer. Um, another composer on the program is they're going to be playing music of uh, Vincent Ho, who for seven years served as the Winnipeg Symphony Orchestra's composer in residence. Uh, you're playing his piece Reflection in the Water. What is this piece like? This piece, uh, he wrote it 20 years ago for um, for a competition, a different competition, actually. Um, and this piece has a lot of repeated notes and a lot of uh, shimmering effects in the piano. So there's a lot of repeated notes. And and then there are these gestures that are, are repeated in different ways that move through these repetitions. And you hear almost as if the, the, the water is being reflected through, or the light is being reflected through a raindrop, like a, as if it's a prism. Um, and this piece also has some cool extended techniques of so strumming of the strings to make great resonance. And uh, it's really imaginative. And what I like about it also is that one of Vincent's hallmarks for writing for the piano is to find a way that he can sufficiently um, express on the page his, his vision while leaving a lot of room for the composer to do um, their, to do their own thing. So with these repeated notes, there's there's moments uh, where that are left up to the, the discretion of the, the performer. And so every single performance of this piece by different people um, is it's almost like a different piece. Yet at the same time, it's the same because he has the skill of writing um, that he's very clear in what he wants in what exactly he wants you to do, but also clear in what he wants uh, you to do for yourself. Mm -hmm. well, it's going to be, it sounds like it's going to be great. Uh, I was unfamiliar with this composer. Uh, help me out with the name. Uh, is it Kiko DeVoe? You, Keiko you... DeVoe, yeah. yeah Keiko is from Montreal. Yeah, Keiko yeah. actually won the uh, Juno for Best Classical Music perform uh, uh, Composition of 2022. Um, I... So, so I guess where I'm going with this is she lives in Montreal. You're at Montreal based. Have you met her and have you worked on uh, her piece Murmuration with her? Yes, I've played it once for her. And then in my recital in Montreal, she, she came out to watch it. Um, she, um, I guess she told me that she wrote this piece, you know, it was inspired by birds, by flocks of tiny birds. And this is a piece that is also for piano accompanied by tape. So there's a recording a sort of, of electronics that goes along with it and you can hear the birds. And so there's a lot of this organic movement flitting about in the piano and interplay between the piano and the birds. Very um, transparent sounds, um, almost impressionistic. In fact, she told me at one point, oh, did you like my Ravel arpeggios in this passage? So I think she was definitely inspired by, um, by the French impressionism uh, tradition. And uh, it's been, I think, one of the crowd favorites at um, uh, so, so far during the tour. Mm -hmm. uh, is there like a particular piece on the program that you like every time it comes up, you you want to you look forward to playing it or is it all the same? Like, is there one particular favorite oh. for you? Um, I mean, I love all of them. Uh, um, I, that's why I worked so hard at choosing music that I really love so that because I, I hope that that is transmitted to the audience. I think probably maybe the most special piece personally to me to play is the the one there's a short piece by Edward Edmund um, called um, Take a Deep Breath, uh, because Edward and I are friends. We uh, we took the same bus to school in Nova Scotia, <laughs> where we grew up. And then we both sort of, we parted ways and went our different ways. And then we both, again, we find ourselves in uh, in Montreal. So it's been great to reunite with him. And I even got to work with him on an album of, of music that he wrote for, for two pianos. Um, some of the pieces are written for two pianos. And so, you know, I think of the wonderful time we had together um, on that whenever I play this. And I find, because I know him pretty well, that his music matches his personality. You know, he's got, uh, he's very, um, 
he's very relaxed and calm guy, but there's like this this underlying sort of energy. And his music is like that with these long, long lines, which are like almost zen. But then also there's a lot of interjections of like stuff that's that's that that has uh, that's very energetic. So I feel that uh, these two, the way these two things combine, are, are a lot like him. <laughs> <laughs> um, one of the th questions I was thinking about is, okay, so you're doing a cross country tour and there's, you know, you're doing these extended techniques with the, with the piano. Have there been any problems like, or have the pianos been pretty good at the various venues where you've played so far? Yes. As pianists, yes, we, it's always, um, it's left up to chance what kind of instrument you're going to get. But, you know, I have played some wonderful pianos on this tour and I'm really grateful that, uh, I haven't had any issues with any of them. Um, you know, I tried to pick pieces that are very portable. You know, the one, the one with the by Vincent Ho with the extended technique. There, it's there, but there's nothing like I don't have to make a prepared piano or I don't yeah, have yeah. to do anything fancy like that, so that I can showcase different ways of approaching the instrument without having it to be um, something you know stressful and setting them up. Mm -hmm. uh, I'll wrap the the conversation up this way. Uh, what do you hope audiences will take away from uh, this Sunday afternoon's performance of all these Canadian works with you? I hope that the audiences feel um, connected to uh, me, I guess, because, you know, when we put, when I play, I want to communicate something. And uh, so I hope that they feel that they're emotionally moved, that they feel like they, they've learned a little bit about the richness of our, our country's musical heritage. And um, my hope my, my hope overall is that they take the program home with them and they say, oh, I really like this piece by that composer. I want to find more of these pieces and that it just sparks an interest in, um, in, in what they hear. Because, you know, when I was looking over all of this, this music, I was just, I mean, I knew there's a lot of great music out here produced by Canadians, but I was just, it was incredible how much wonderful music there is. And there's, you know, hours and hours of pieces that I wanted to program that I just haven't had the, the chance to yet. And um, so uh, I hope it um, it inspires people to uh, seek out more of this this uh, this music. Amazing, David. This has just been great. I'm so excited to have you here in Winnipeg. It's gonna sounds like the weather here is gonna be great. It looks like we're gonna see above zero in November in Winnipeg, which is uh, <laughs> something to behold, which is great. Uh, thanks for taking the time to chat with me today. Uh, the concert on Sunday is gonna be fantastic. My pleasure. Thank you so much for having me.